though, it must be good. That's my, uh, that's my take on this. <laughs> Today I'm here with yet another book haul. Are we really surprised at this point? Because we shouldn't be. I have a total of seven books that I picked up at my local thrift store that I thought I'd share with y'all. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> So the first three books are part of the same series which I have seen on booktube all the time and many people like it. A couple select people hate it with a passion so I wanted to see which side I fell on. But it is The Foxhole Court by Nora Sakavik. This is the first book, Foxhole Court, and then The Raven King and The King's Men and it's about foxes playing lacrosse or something like that? Honestly, not 100% sure. I saw them at the thrift store and I was like, hey, I've never actually seen these in a bookstore before, so thought I'd pick them up and see what I thought. So we're gonna see, and uh, hopefully I fall on the I like this series side of things, but I guess we'll find out eventually. The next book I picked up solely based off of the author because I have a lot of her books and I've liked them. So it is called Going Bovine and this is by Libba Bray. No idea what this is about. The next book I have is because it is a sequel of a book that I already own. So I saw it and I was like, it's only two dollars. Might as well buy it. And it is Miss Mayhem by Rachel Hawkins. I have Rebel Bell. Have have I read it yet? <laughs> no. No, I have not. But now we have the sequel. The third book is Lady Renegades, so maybe eventually I'll find that book at the thrift store and then I'll have the whole series and I can marathon it. Knowing me, that won't happen because I just collect books and don't read them apparently. So. <laughs> the next book was another. It's a sequel to one that I own already, so I was like, why not? It's cheap, so might as well pick it up for cheap. And that is The Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan. I have the first book in the series. I think this is like from the Percy Jackson world. It's like a spin-off of it. I think I have the first Percy Jackson book now so y'all can stop telling me I need to read it because I have it. I just have to find the rest of the series. When that's going to happen, we don't know. I'm currently trying to take this sticker off and it's not working so I'm just gonna sting it back on and is mine. Does anybody know how to get these things off? Because it's a piss off. And then the final book that I have is just because I saw it on booktube a lot when it first came out and all the huge booktubers were talking about it. But it is City of Saints and Thieves by Natalie C. Anderson. It says it's a thriller. And your girl likes thrillers, but I feel like it's definitely not a thriller. I don't know that much about it other than it takes place in the Congos and that there's a murder and then the main character wants revenge, so. Alright guys, so that was my little book haul for this time around. Let me know down below if you've read any of these and what you thought of them. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!